this is Maureen. We just got back from the local scooter store. As you can see, we got the tire remounted. When it, remounting a tire, it's very important to make sure that they line the yellow dot with the valve stem, and the zippy one is a directional tire, so you have to make sure the arrows are going in the proper way. We went ahead and got the valve stem replaced while we were there. I'm going to put the tire back on, but before I can, I need to make sure I put some anti-seize on the drive shaft. I'm doing this because the next time I go to take the tire off, I don't want it to be as hard to get off. When you're putting the anti-seize on, you need to make sure that you don't get any on the brakes or else they won't work. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the tire on. First, we have to put on the washer. Next, we're going to hand thread the nut to as far as we can get. my 24 millimeter socket to just tighten it to be snug. Uh oh, I realized the rear wheel was spinning because I forgot to put the lock on the rear brake. Let's try this again. And using my official Vespa workshop manual, I had to look up the torque for the rear wheel axle. It says here it should be at least 104 newton meters. I went online and looked that that equals about 76 foot pounds. I'm going to use my torque wrench to make it go to 75 foot pounds. I'm going to install the retaining ring and then the cotter pin. I couldn't find the exact cotter pin used for the Vespa, but I went online and found out that a 5 30 seconds, one half inch would do just fine. I'm now going to reinstall the exhaust, but before I do, I'm going to put some anti-seize on the two bolts that are on the exhaust flange. Now I'm going to install the muffler. First I have to install the prongs through the flange, 
Then I'm going to put the bolts loosely on the opposite way of how I took them off. Starting from here and ending here. The muffler is a little heavy for me, so I'm going to get my assistant to hold up the muffler while I install the first bolt to keep it in place. Now I can go ahead and put the two exhaust flange nuts on. Although it's easy to get to the exhaust flange by the access panel, it might be easier for you to use a knuckle extension with your 10 millimeter socket and go from the bottom. are in there snug, you can now go back and tighten up the flange bolts and then tighten the rear bolts. Okay, we're done our work on the last step. All I have to do is reinstall the access panel. It's important to take your Vespa out for a test drive, make sure everything feels right. When you get back, make sure you check your fluid levels because you might need to add a little extra.